This second format uses two columns for the amounts. Besides that, only the date and description columns are needed. Deposits are entered under the credit column, while withdrawals or payments are entered under the debit column. Similar to the first format, no commas and dollar signs are required for the amounts, and we keep the format of the cells as general. With all that done, we save the file as CSV. Select CSV, comma, delimited. That's it. Since this isn't the first time we are uploading the bank statement, we can click on File Upload at the top right. Select the CSV file. Select the name of the bank account to link the CSV file with. Match the mapping fields here with the column headers in the CSV file. Now that our CSV file has two columns for the amount, we select the two column option. And you are done. Thanks for watching this demo video, and I hope that you will also be able to successfully import your bank statement.